everyone, Spruce and Jan out of the van and in the house. Uh, Serenity Jewel had one more question and they wanted to know how old a van should they get and how old was our van. Our van is a 2012 and we bought it brand new. We knew we were going to be retiring and we saved our money and we said when we retired we were going to buy this van so we could travel around the country. Bruce is not mechanically inclined so it had to be a relatively new van so that any problems we had would be covered under our warranty. And we did buy the extended warranty on it. And we have had a couple things we've had to take it in on vacation yet to get fixed. Not major things, but it has happened. So, we, and it didn't cost us anything. Where Serenity Jewel wanted to know, should they get uh, an old van and what kind of mileage? Well, we don't like buying old cars, just us. We seem to always get the lemons. Um, but my husband always says when you buy a used vehicle, you're buying somebody else's problems. Because if they're not having problems with the van, they probably wouldn't get rid of it. That being said, how many miles should you have on your car? How do you know which one to get, you know, mileage? Well... We use the guideline that most people drive 15,000 miles in a year. So if you're buying, let's say, a 1995 van and it's got 50,000 miles on it and it has not clicked over, then you're getting a good deal. That's the van you want to get. But if you're buying a 2012 van and it has 75 to 100,000 miles on it, that van has been really traveled in. And you can expect some problems. Even though it's a lot newer than that 1995 van, that's one you should stay away from. I would also stay away from any van that has more than 200,000 miles on it. Because you're pushing major engine problems. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. See you later.